Welcome back guys to another video. Today's video is how to download Galaxy Space and Extra Planet mod and how to actually run them together because usually it doesn't work. You have to do some configuration. So let's get into the video. Alright, in order to get started, you're going to go ahead and download the mods. I'll put the link into the description. So for Galaxy Space, simply go to Files, All Game Versions, change it to 1.12.2, and then download the latest or newest version. After that, you want to go to Extra Planets mod. You go down to the files, same thing like before, 1.12.2, the newest version. You could read anything they changed with the mod, and you're done also. After that, you need to go to Asmodeus Core. This mod is an essential need for Galaxy Space, so if you don't have this mod, Galaxy Space won't run. For Extra Planets mod, you will also need MJR Legends Lib. That is also an essential for extra planets for it to run. So do the same thing as we did before. Down the newest version and you're good to go. Now finally, you need Galacticraft Legacy. This is basically what's going to run the space mods. with And without it, it won't. So you don't download Galacticraft, McDoodle Core. You down Galacticraft Legacy. Because that's mostly for the newer versions of the mods. All right. Once you have downloaded everything, simply go ahead, add your Galacticraft file, then Asmodeus Core, and then Galaxy Space. Extra planets, we will come back to it, but, after, but what you need to do right now is just simply run Minecraft. Alright, once you have launched Minecraft, you can simply quit the game. Then, you're gonna go to your config file, and as you can see, you're going to have a Galaxy Space file and a Asmodeus Core file. After testing the Galaxy Space mod and you remove them into your downs folder, wherever you put them, now you just want to do Extra Planets and the, and the MJR Legends Lib and just run Minecraft. Once Minecraft loads with the Extra Planet mod, all you do is just quit. Now after you quit Minecraft, you're going to add all the files back into your mods folder. Go to the config file, and now it is time for configuring the configuration file. Alright, so now you want to go to your extra planets config. Once you open it, you want to click Ctrl F and type in Galaxy. Right, and then you'll have a pop up in this type of area. What you want to do where it says enable Galaxy Space Compat Compatibility, you want to change it to True. And then you also want to search up map and you will see something called use custom galaxy map right here you want to change this to false if this would be left true there will be like a error with the other mod because it uses its own map so you kind of have to use the other one you can't really use this one but if you put this to false you're good to go after that you want to go to galaxy space Go to dimensions and scroll down until you see the space station. You want to put both of these two false. Both of them don't work, so you can't have one of them working. So you have to put both to false. All right. So after you've done that, you don't have to do any more configuration. You are good to go. You can configure the Asmodeus core config. Mostly like if you want to change the colors of the stars or add clouds or have like a different map. That's mostly your opinion. But other than that, your game works. And the way you could actually tell if it works is by clicking M. If the map loads, it works. If the map, cra if the map crashes, that means you did something wrong. But other than that, everything works. So you have galaxy space and extra planets and you could still add more and more. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment if you need help, or give me any ideas. Other than that, like and subscribe, and goodbye.